Hi there. Welcome to yet another lesson. Today we are going to be discussing the lives of the leaders of the three main religions in Ghana. Okay, so this is our first lesson. We're going to do our second and our third after this one. So stay with us. Let us continue. So we have learned already that there are three main religions in Ghana. We have the Christian religion, the Islamic religion, and then the traditional religions. All of these religions have leaders, okay? So today we're going to be talking about the lives, the early lives of these leaders for these three religions, right? So this is lesson one, and in lesson one, we're talking about the life of Jesus Christ, okay? So let us look at the life of Jesus. So Jesus Christ is the leader and founder of Christianity. Yes, Christ means the anointed one. Jesus' parents were Mary and Joseph. Joseph was a carpenter and then many years before Jesus was born, there was a prophecy that a virgin would give birth to a son who would be called Emmanuel. This prophecy was given by the prophet Isaiah, okay? So many years after, after the prophecy, an angel of God called Gabriel appeared to Mary, who became the mother of Jesus, to inform her that she would conceive and give birth to a son. Mary was surprised because she was a virgin. So she asked the angel, how is this going to be possible? Then the angel told her that the Holy Spirit is going to come upon her, then she will be with a child, and then when she give birth, the name of the child should be called Jesus. Okay. So, as the angel appeared to Mary and told her about all these things, the angel also appeared to Joseph because Joseph had made up his mind not to marry someone who is pregnant. So the angel also appeared to Joseph and told him to take Mary as his wife. So Joseph also listened to what the angel said and then got married to Mary. Jesus was born in Bethlehem and after his birth, some three wise men wanted to visit him. So they went to the palace of a king called King Herod to ask of the place of the newborn king, Jesus. The king said he didn't know where the, the king was born. So he sent his soldiers to look for the king because he wanted to be king alone. So he sent his uh, soldiers to look for this newborn king and then kill him. Okay, so when the king made up that, came up with that idea, God also told Joseph to take baby Jesus out of the land of his bed and go to Egypt. So Joseph fled with um, Jesus and Mary to Egypt. When Jesus was 12 years old, they took him with them to a feast at Jerusalem. That was when the king Herod had died. So when the feast was over, his parents walked back home and it was after a day journey that they saw that Jesus had stayed back in Jerusalem. They went back to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple. He was busily talking with elders, asking them questions, answering questions from them. Okay, that was where his parents found him. So when the, uh, Mary and Lisa found him, they told him what that. He, why, why did he do this? That they were worried about him. So Jesus told them, Why are you looking for me everywhere? Don't you know that I must be in my father's house? In this instance, he was referring to God his father, not Joseph his father. Okay? Right. So in order that Jesus' mission on earth will live on to save humankind and generation after him, he chose 12 people as his disciples and he taught and worked with them. These disciples were to carry on with his mystery 
ministry, sorry, after he had left. They were later called the apostles. So before the ministry of Jesus began, he had to be baptized. So one day Jesus came from Nazareth to the River Jordan. When he got there, a certain man was baptizing some people. He was called John the Baptist. John then told Jesus, I need to be baptized by you, not I baptizing you, because Jesus had asked John to baptize him. And then John told Jesus that Jesus should rather baptize him and not he baptizing Jesus. But Jesus said to him, he should let it be the way for them and that that was the way God's holy plan would be carried out. So John agreed and then baptized him. When Jesus came out of the water after his baptism, the Spirit of God came down from heaven to Jesus like a dove. Then a loud voice from heaven said, This is my Son, in whom I am well pleased. After that, Jesus had fasted for a long time, and then after he returned from the river Jordan, and after his baptism, he was filled with the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit led him into the desert where he was tempted by Satan. And these are the temptations. The first temptation. Satan tempted Jesus with food. Satan knew that Jesus had fasted for 40 days and he was hungry. So Satan took a stone and asked Jesus if you are the son of God. Order this stone to turn into bread and eat. Jesus rejected Satan's offer by telling him that it is written that man does not live by food but by every word that God speaks. He, all, he again tempted Jesus. He took Jesus to Jerusalem and took him to the highest point of the temple and said to him, If you are God's son, Throw yourself here, for God will order his angels to hold you up, so that the stones will not hurt your feet. But Jesus said, It is written that you should not put the Lord your God to test. With all these answers, the devil left Jesus and the angels came to him. Now the last test. Satan took Jesus up on a mountain and said, all these kingdoms have been given to me, and I can give it to you or anyone I like. So Satan asked God and Jesus to bow down and worship him so that he will give you all those kingdoms. But Jesus told Satan that he is not going to worship any other person or any other God except the Holy One. This is the end of the early life of Jesus. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in lesson two. Bye.